Friends and family gathered in Santiago, Chile on Friday to say goodbye to Daniel Zambudio, a 24-year-old who was beaten and branded with swastikas by a neo-Nazi group earlier this month. Police are treating it as a hate crime. They believe Daniel was targeted because he was a homosexual. I ask for respect and thank you from my heart on behalf of my whole family. We thank you for every hand that greets us, every gesture, for every tear you shed for my brother. Hundreds, including gay rights activists and foreign dignitaries, gathered to express their support. I've come to the funeral because I think it's important to show solidarity with the family and because for us in the UK, fighting discrimination, including homophobia, is a central part of our policy. The tragedy has sparked a national outcry and debate over whether the government should pass an anti-discrimination law offering stronger protections for victims of hate crimes. From Geneva, the High Commissioner for Human Rights issued a statement in support of the movement. We deplore the violent criminal act that took the life of this young man and urge the Chilean Congress to pass a law against discrimination, including on grounds of sexual orientation and gender identity, in full compliance with relevant international human rights. Opposing the legislation are right-wing politicians who have blocked a hate crimes bill for the past seven years, fearing it could open the door for the legislation of gay marriage. It's too early to say whether this case will put hate crimes back on the Chilean parliament's agenda. But those who gathered for Daniel Zambudio's funeral hope that in his death, a new political movement may find life. Rachel Levin, Al Jazeera.